Hi, I'm Jason again from TGN. Today I'm doing another unboxing. Okay, so today's unboxing will be on uh, two units at the same time simultaneously. Okay, the reason why we are doing this is just to show you what are the differences, all right? And you can see right off what are the differences between these two models. Okay, so the first one is a small little cube unit. Okay, this is the hex series, all right? So this is the hex router, which I will open up later, all right? And then subsequently after the hex, I will be opening up the hex S. Alright, so I will go into some technical details with regards to these two on the hardware function and also the software functionality. Okay, now for software functionality, remember, all Microtech is all using router OS. Okay, all are operatable on router OS. Okay, so let's put this aside and let's open up the hex. Okay, so for those who are not familiar with this, alright, so the hex is using the traditional on Microtech colors. Okay. So this is the unit itself, right? It comes with a quick user guide, right, as usual. And it has four ports, uh, gigabit, all right? And it's using AC power. Right? It has a slot for micro SD where you can create your own FTP for file transfer, all right? And also it has a USB port. Okay, so for this USB port, you can plug in compatible um, flash 3G or 4G uh, modems, all right? And they will be able to work as failover. Okay, so you have four, five ports. Uh, you can have a PoE in, and then you also have uh, the PoE in to power up the unit itself. All right. So this is the hex itself, cube with the filler. All right. And the next one that we're going to do is the hex S. Okay. So on the hex S, slightly larger. Okay. As usual, it has its uh, user guide. Okay. And the power adapter. Right. Both of them are using the same power adapter. So I have one to show you. Okay, so over here you can see the Hex S. It has an additional hardware port for SFP. All right, so this is SFP, and also similarly it has the micro SD slot and also the USB slot. Okay, so the USB similarly you can put in a thumb drive or a 3G or 4G modem. Okay, now you can PoE in for the Hex S, and you can also PoE out. Okay, now take note, the PoE out is using the proprietary 24 volts PoE. Okay, it's not the standard I3 PoE. All right, so take note of that. Now, in terms of CPU, okay, the Hex S is on dual port 880 megahertz. Okay, so this is slightly faster. It's able to do definitely way more than one gigabit of throughput for WAN, for routing. And it's able to do IPsec at more than 400 megabits. Okay, so if you want to do a pair of this, okay, it's able to definitely give you a very high throughput for IP set. All right. So in any case, these are the two units that we have today for you. Okay. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comment section and we will definitely reply you as soon as possible. All right. Thank you.